All right, my beautiful people, thanks so much for tuning in to the Money Mind Shift. I'm your host, ERGJ, your certified financial educator. We're back here going through the book, How Rich People Think by Steve Saibo. Steve, I'm coming for my check. That's right, guys. You want to get this book, go ahead and get it through me, www.ergj.net. You'll see the link uh, somewhere to the side above and below this particular video. And so um, here's the deal, guys. Well, begins in the mind guys wealth begins in the mind you must be wealthy in your mind long before you're wealthy in your wallet that's right you must be wealthy in your mind long before you're wealthy in your wallet now here's the deal uh, people ask me all the time ergj how'd you go from being a financial zero to a financial hero and i simply tell them i read i decided to read financial things i decided to read things about money and i applied it to my life and so 15 minutes a day, 15 minutes a day to keep broke away. Now, here's the deal. I can tell people to get this book. I can recommend it all day long. But for some reason, most people simply won't get the book. So what I decided to do is start this show so that we can actually go through the book together. So we're on day number 42 of a 100-day journey. Day number 42 of a 100-day journey. I know you don't have a lot of time. I don't have a lot of time. Day number 42, let's get it. All right, the middle class thinks small, the world class thinks big. The middle class thinks small, the world class thinks big. Now, the masses are at a level of consciousness that dictates they pay attention to every detail and petty problem. They're more interested in gossip, drama, and other people's problems than they are in their very own success. Here's what the middle class's problem is. They don't focus on their own success. They let every little thing, every little petty issue, every little piece of drama, every little bit of gossip, they pay more attention to that than they do their very own success. And I will tell you guys, my life, my life, my financial life, my stratospheric rise, my exponential growth came when I decided to not pay attention to that stuff anymore. Why? It wasn't helping me. We all say that, hey, why should I complain? It's not going to help anyway. Well, you may not be complaining about your own self, but now you're 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 attaching to yourself to all these other complainers. You're gossiping with them. Misery loves company, and you just want to be in a company of miserable people. Ah, not me. I decided I was going to leave those people behind because I realized I can't help those people until I help myself. So I decided to help myself. Now I'm trying to reach back and pull those people up out of their own despair. That's right. This is it's, it's, it's a place of despair when all you can do is complain. All you can do is moan. All you can do is talk. We need people that's going to do. It's going to be what you do that's going to help you to get wealthy. It's going to be what you do that's going to help you accomplish your mission. It's going to be what you do. Stop being lazy in your action, but being, you know, having all this great energy with your words. Your words are just the beginning. Your actions, they need to actually validate what you say all the time. This level of thought consumes massive amounts of mental energy, and by the end of the day, they have little left for creative thought and problem solving. Don't spend eight hours on your job and no hours on your dream. You're not tired. You're just uninspired. You let the, the whole day get by without spending any time on your own very own dream, your very own success, your very own uh, place of prosperity. Now, your job is great. It, it takes care of your living, but I'm telling you, once you decide to focus on this creative space, this gold mine that you have right here, once you start to extract the gold out of it, you're going to be you're going to find that while your job is capped in your income ability, your mind is uncapped in what it's able to create. And you don't have an income problem. What you have is an idea problem. How many ideas are you getting each and every day? See, my life is filled with free flowing ideas. Whether that be ideas on how to market better, whether it be ideas on new products and services to create. I just got my 10th stream of income coming from YouTube. Why? I just monetize what I already do. Just an idea, guys. Just an idea. And I know, I know you got some ideas, but are you taking the time to cultivate your very own ideas? It's your ideas going to get you rich. I'm telling you that. It's going to be your idea. Now, you could be working for a company and bring a phenomenal idea to that company to help that company grow to an exponential level that they're going to pay you. That, that's possible. 
I'm not saying it's got to be an entrepreneur to get rich. What I'm saying is you got to tap into your gold mine if you want to get rich. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> All right. The, pro the world class purposely ignores the small thinking, ego-based personality problems that plague the middle class. They know they only have so many units of mental energy available each day. And they choose to focus all of them on thinking big. Everybody put it in the comments below. Think big. Too many of us think small. And, and I was I was I was a part of this place, right? I thought small. I, I didn't, I, I just thought when I started this journey of financial literacy, I thought, man, I just want to teach a class. But then my level of consciousness grew, and yours can too. Now I want to build a school. Now I want a university. I'm thinking bigger and bigger each day because I know there's nothing impossible for me. It's possible for me. That's right. It is possible. And because I know it's possible, why not go for it? <laughs> All right. Where were we at? Uh, they are happy to exchange the small life of survival for the big life of abundance. They are happy to exchange the small life of survival for the big life of abundance and leave the fear-based anger, jealousy, and pettiness to others. Guys, what, I'm, what we're saying here is if you want to go to that next level, you have to decide to leave the crowd. You have to decide. You got to make that a decision that you're going to leave the crowd, the people that are fear-based anger, they're in jealousy, they're in pettiness. You got to decide you're going to leave the haters. See, you're probably a hater right now, and you got to decide I'm not going to be a hater. At least I'm going to be an imitator until I become the person that people are imitating. Leave the haters behind. Walk away. Walk away. Walk away from the 95% and join the 5%. The great ones are operating at a level of consciousness where fear doesn't exist. And people say to me now, they say, Evan, you, you just don't care. You know right? I don't care. I care about you, but I don't care what other people say about me. Because other people that are talking about me, they're spending too much time talking about me that they're not chasing their dreams. And while they're talking about me, I'm chasing my dreams. And guess what? Later on, they're going to be paying me because of my dreams. Walk away from the 95%. Don't be like the crowd because the crowd is broke. The great ones operating a level of consciousness where fear doesn't exist. It's a level of thought that allows them to focus on their ultimate vision. It's a level of thought that allows them to focus on their ultimate vision. At this level of thought, anything is possible. Anything is possible. I need you to write that in the comments below. Anything is possible. You see how I say that? I don't say it with any timidity. I don't say it with any, 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 you know, any, I don't know. I, 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 it's confidence. There's resolve in there that this truly belief that anything is possible and anything is possible for me. Anything is possible. Every dream that seems crazy to the masses looks surprisingly doable. They, The world class occupies the psychological space because they know the key to success in anything is reaching a higher level of awareness. In other words, the masses don't earn $50,000 a year because they want to. They earn $50,000 a year because they're not aware of how to earn $500,000 a year. And I wrote this the other day. I said, or a meme came up the other day. said, don't let $50,000 a year keep you from $50,000 a month. The only reason why you're earning $50,000 a year, if that's what you're earning, is because you haven't learned how to earn $500,000 a year. The more you learn, the more you earn. Professional athletes are better than amateurs because they're operating at a higher level of awareness in their sport. The same is true with straight A student and their best and the best artists in town. It's all about raising your level of conscious awareness. And it begins by releasing any fear-based thoughts that enter your mind and steering clear of the small-minded, petty thinking of the masses. Walk away. All right, here's our quote today by Walt Disney. Walt Disney says this: you reach the point where you don't work for money. Walt Disney says this, you reach the point where you don't work for money. And, and I've said this before. I, I, don't, I don't want you to be rich because of the money. I want you to be rich because of the mission. You work because of the mission and the money will come. All right, here's your critical thinking question of the day, guys. Something you want to think about today on a scale of one to seven. 
seven being the biggest, how big do you think? On a scale of one to seven, seven being the biggest, how big do you think? Now you got to think about how big do I think? Because it's your thought life that's ultimately going to create your tangible life. How you think steers how you live. How big do you think? The bigger that you think, your thoughts are going to pull you up higher because you're thinking on a higher level. You can grow in your level of consciousness. And how do you do that? 15 minutes a day. Just that simple. All right, here's your uh, action step. Here's what you want to do today. Here's what you want to take away from today's uh, message, day number 42, thinking big. Decide today to think bigger than you ever have before. Read books, listen to CDs, MP3s, and podcasts, attend seminars and workshops by big thinkers. If you want to start thinking big, you got to hang around people who think big. Remember this, consciousness is contagious. Consciousness is contagious. Now, here's the deal, guys. Day number 42 is complete. The middle class thinks small. The world class think big. You got to decide for yourself if you're going to think big. You got to decide for yourself if you're going to walk away from the 95%. You got to th- decide for yourself that you're going to hang around with big thinkers because birds of a feather flock together. You got to decide for yourself that you're no longer going to hang around with the jealous the petty, the miserable people of this world, and you're going to fly like an eagle. Hey, we're here Monday through Saturday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're going through the 100-day journey of how rich people think by Steve Seibel. Steve, I'm coming for my check. If you want to get this book, www.ergj.net, you'll find the link somewhere around this video. Here's the deal. I'm ERGJ, your certified financial educator. I'll be here tomorrow at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And the question is, will you?